Hey traders and investors, it's George Berger here. Today I want to have a look at sort of a preview of uh, how we could approach the upcoming autumn uh, trading season. Uh, in other words, sort of September through November, uh, what might be some of the, the things of handling this, this period that tends to have, uh, you know, at least see some sort of increased volatility um, at some point during that time. So in order to kind of just give a little bit of perspective, I made a couple charts. First of all, this one here, which is the S&P 500, and it's got uh, at the bottom part of the chart here, the, the average true range attached to it. So this blue line here is the average true range, basically sort of the, the average you know range that the stock trades in sort of on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you can see, historically speaking, uh, this has been sort of on the low end, has been about 10 has uh, has been about 10 points on the high end uh, here on the extreme end in July, uh, and and actually much more so even before that. But let's say in July or in August 2011 it was somewhere near 35. We had a lot of volatility there, um, and of course at the moment we're no, not surprisingly so sort of trading uh, trading so we're uh, towards the mid to low end of 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 the majority of the range, arguably more towards the lower end. Um, but what you, what you can see here is that. Um, uh, through the last five years, and obviously we've had a, a raging bull market over the past five years, so we got to take this with sort of some sort of uh, a, a uh, grain of salt. But to, for sort of simplicity re, uh, sakes, you can see we've seen a spike or at least an up move in average true range for uh, in each one of the past few autumn seasons at least once, uh, not including uh, uh, 2010 or, or in 2010 we didn't see that. Okay, and that's because uh, markets there pretty much just kind of continued uh, straight up uh, in uh, the autumn of 2010. So that's just to give you a bit of a context there. The other way of looking at this is just looking at the VIX. You can see the VIX, uh, of course, which represents the implied volatility uh, for options in the S&P 500. And you can see there's always been a little bit of a spike in volume, uh, again, in that period of time, just not in 2010. So again, that sort of, uh, you know, that sort of uh, it works there this, in the same way. The question now becomes, and, and uh, I'm going to use the Russell 2000 here as, as a reference point just because it, it is more volatile. Uh, the question it becomes, how do we trade this? Okay. And of course, that's, you know, that's a, a question that uh, that we should ask ourselves at any given point during the year. But considering that we have a historical uh, period that we're coming into that tends to have an inc a, a pretty consistent, uh, consistently sees an increase in, in, in volatility, um, my experience has been that the best way you approach this is by really coming in with a lot of cash. Because once you have a lot of cash, uh, and, and we've seen this, we've seen a lot of institutional investors raise cash, not, so, not necessarily dumping their entire portfolio, but raise enough cash so they can be a little bit more flexible um, uh, in terms of how they approach uh, the next few months. Uh, and potentially then really prepare to buy the dip at some point for a year end sort of Santa Claus rally type of thing, which we, we also, by the way, tend to get a lot. Uh, just when things tend to look the worst in the autumn, then dip buyers come in and kind of push the stocks higher into year end, which is, again, from a historical perspective, very possible this year. So my uh, the way I'm going to approach this and the way we're going to do this in the Steady Trader um, Trade Alert Service and in my real, real portfolios, of course, it's to continue operating with a lot of cash, which we've done with all year, but we're up almost 15% year to date, so we've done something right there. Um, but be, be, because we're at such an important level, which is, like I keep saying, uh, late cyclical bull market coming into a more volatile period, we need to have uh, the capability to really react or anything. No staunch opinions. Don't think we can have a market that fall up, falls apart, but also don't think we can have a market uh, that just continues rallying towards 2300 here nonstop. Neither is is very likely. So in order to really remain, uh, give ourselves the best chance to make money, come with a lot of cash, and then take uh, take uh, uh, opportunities as they arise. I hope this makes sense, guys. As always, if you got any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video.